Hello, I'd like to show you the various labor options that you can use with Digital Wrench. The labor is listed under this icon, and you can look at the labor with all labor descriptions, or you can look at labor by category. So I can go into one category and look at just the labor for that category. Labor can have a wholesale rate for your wholesale customers and it can have a standard rate which you can set in the company setup that we covered earlier and which you can change if you want to on each individual item but the important part about labor is inside an estimate or a work order we can go into the labor and we can do two things we can add labor on a one-time basis so I can go here and I can type in a number of hours like 1 or 1 1.2 or whatever I want or I can click on this time button say it took one hour and ten minutes and it'll take care of it for me I'll pick a category for the work we're doing here we'll say this is electrical type in whatever I want pick a technician and this is a one-time labor entry now if I look at my parts over here you'll see you have an alternator so using our add from labor list function you can go in here and say let's take a look at our electrical system category and let's renew the alternator we've already entered that into the system once and we can get a description of up to 2,000 characters so we can get really detailed on the work we do or we can get really simplistic like I did here with just alternator renew so that's how you can add labor to the program either one time or from a labor list where you can create your list and you can edit it and add to it modify it anytime you want and you have literally thousands of items in your labor list so you don't have to keep typing them over and over again. So that pretty much covers the labor. If you have any questions, give us a call at 1-800-457-7818. Thank you.